In this special edition of tutorials, we will create the torso for our minifigure. Create fillets, dimension angles, model holes off of angles, and so much more. So welcome to the Learn It channel, Lesson 10B. So welcome back to the next stage of our tutorial where we will design the torso. So let's just look at that really quickly. Here we have the torso. We've got lots of different features that we are going to have to work on. So let's dive into it. So let's create a new design and we're going to save it right away and call it torso. So let's just go over to our drawing. Here we have, again, a complex and detailed drawing, but we're going to break it down into its basic elements. Let's dive in. We can see that our basic shape here is 575 thousandths, and the top of it is offset 0 0.075. So we have this dimension. We also have the top dimension is 0.4, and then we have an angle on the bottom of 78 degrees. If we look at our bottom face here, we have a reference for this dimension, and it says it is 0.611. Well, how come we don't have 0.611 here, and how come this is in brackets? Well, if we were to put one there, it would be over dimension. So we have all the information we need to create the shape. If we were to have 0.611 here, it would be over dimension, and sometimes it creates uh, bad drawings or uh, errors or mistakes in drawings. Uh, I've seen it so many times in the past. So this is our reference. We can check it once we have created our shape. So it's 0.5 tall, 0.4 on the top. So let's do that. Let's go to our torso. So let's create a sketch on our XZ plane. We're going to create a line, call this 0.5, and we're going to call this a construction line. Now we are going to create another line on the top. Let's just go like this and call it 0.4. And we are going to constrain it to that point. We're going to use a coincident constraint. Coincident here to there. And we are going to make it symmetric. So one, two, three. Perfect. Now we can also draw another line on the bottom. And let's constrain this as well. Coincident constraint. And we're going to make this symmetrical as well. Great. This right now, we don't have to worry about the length. So let's create a line between those two entities. And do you remember the angle? 78 degrees. So let's do that. Dimension here to there, 78 degrees. Perfect. Our shape is complete. Now we need to extrude it. Well, we're going to do a symmetrical extrude. So let's go back to our drawing. And what is our depth of our part? It's 0.315. So let's go back there. We're going to extrude to 0.315. Direction is going to be symmetric. And our measurement is going to be whole length, 0.315. OK. So now let's go back to our drawing. And we can do this top post up here. So it is 200 thou in diameter by 75 thou high. So let's go there. Great. Now the top post is done. Let's go back to our drawing. And we've got our two holes in the bottom. So here we have it. These are 200 thou by 200 thou deep. So the diameter is 200 thou by 200 thou deep and it's 150 thou offset from our center line. So let's create that. Let's create a sketch on our bottom face. Now we can just create one hole, two hole. I put them off to the side on purpose. We are going to constrain it horizontally to our center point there. And now we can do a dimension from there to there. And this is supposed to be 150 thou. Perfect. And we can do the same thing over here. Dimension from the center to the center. And let's just select this one. It will default to that dimension, which is the exact same thing, 150. Great. 
Now these are also extruded 200 thou deep. So one, two. Perfect. Let's go back to our drawing. What else are we missing here? Ah, we've got these two holes, the arm holes, and then we've got all of the fillets as well. So we've got a typical fillet of 0 0.0025, and these ones on the top are four times 15 thou. So remember, this isn't a diameter, so we've actually got one, two, three, four. Everything else is going to be 0 0.0025. But let's create these, these holes first. So two at 0.375, that's the center point of our hole. So let's go back there. We're going to create a sketch on our front face. And let's just create a line that goes from one to the next. It's horizontal, 0.375 inches from there to there. Great, so this point is what we want. Let's go finish sketch. Now, what we can do is create a sketch on this surface and we are going to just create a line. Uh, we can't create a line. If we try and select that point, it doesn't register. So we are going to P for project. We're going to now click on that line. Go OK and look at what we have here. We've got our starting point. So now let's create a line and we're going to go right to our center point. We can actually make sure that this is completely vertical with our bullseye. There we go. Finish sketch. Now we are going to create a hole, but we need to look at the hole dimensions first of all. And there are no hole dimensions there. So we've got to go back to the mini figure. I should have put that on the drawing, but I forgot. So what is it? It's a 0 0.05 radius. So, and how deep is it as well? Let's go back there. I'll go from that face to this face, 0.2. Okay, so we'll create a hole. It is 0.2, and the diameter is 0 0.05 times 2. Perfect. Awesome. Now we can hide our sketch. Remember, we can select any entity, and it will show it in the browser. There it is. We can hide that now. And all we have to do is mirror this feature. So object type, we want to select features, click that hole, and the mirror plane. So right now, if I hover my mouse over this face, I won't be able to select our YZ plane. But if I hold down the left mouse button, look it. Ah, now I can select the face or the plane. So let's click the YZ plane. Great. So we've got the armholes. Now, Let's create our fillet. So we're going to go back to our drawing. We've got 15 thou and two and a half thou. So fillet, one, two, three, four. This is going to be 15 thou. We'll add a selection set and we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And let's just select this entire bottom face. It will select all those edges and apply a fillet to it. So we're going to call it 0 0.025. And there we have it. So now let's apply an appearance. We'll go back to our mini figure. And this is red. So red enamel. We're just going to right click and appearance. Or let's just press A for the shortcut. And we're going to type in red. And let's find our red enamel. So we've got metallic, which uh, we could do that as well. But let's go to uh, plastic glossy. Let's do that. Perfect. The torso is now complete. Actually, it isn't. We forgot one fillet, the arm fillet. So let's just do that. Instead of just the five edges, we're going to hold down command on a Mac control on a keyboard and select one. And look at, I don't have to rotate the part at all. I can just hover over where I think that the hole is. And there we go. It's applied those two extra edges. So now our torso is complete. Make sure to join the next tutorial where we will tackle the hips. See you then.